I am Mildred Gallego of uh, Cebu Guimaras, 61 years old and have three grown up children and all of them have their own family now. I have six grandchildren right now. Before I was connected with the Department of Education. I served the department for 37 years and I retired from the service last August, 2020. At first I was hesitant to retire from the service because to be in school is my passion. Although I have already reached the elusive age of retirement, but my children and my husband wanted me to retire from the service due to some um, health problems or due to my illnesses. When a person is experiencing some inconvenient and uncomfortable feelings, for sure he has or she has health issues. And I have these issues when I got symptoms of kidney problem. I felt uneasy. I have back pains and sometimes felt like vomiting. And you know, ladies and gentlemen, I had undergone an emergency major kidney operation in 1995. It was an inflamed mass in the ureter that blocked the waste to be excreted through the urine that caused me to experience those feelings. There were series of laboratory tests and checkups conducted. I had even went to different kidney specialists to seek more opinions. When a kidney ultrasound was requested, it was found out that I had a staghorn kidney stone. It is a kind of stone that is hard and it grown big within my kidney. I had continuous medication and follow-up checkups and later I thought, I already recovered, but in June 2017, I was attacked again with lower back pains, fever, chilling, and I was confined to the hospital every now and then. My daughter, who is a physician in Tacloban, picked me here in Guimaras and brought me to Tacloban and be, so that she could attend to me hands-on. When we were there in Tacloban, she referred me to a kidney specialist. We even waited for medical mission, but the last recourse is for me to go to NKTI, NKTI Manila the National Kidney Transplant Institute. So everything was set for my travel to NKTI. Preparations were made. Doctors were, conduct, were contacted. Our uh, board and lodging were arranged, was arranged. Everything was set only to find out that my, my body condition will not warrant due to a high, to a very high sugar level. So my daughter will not take, will not uh, go or will not take me to NKTI first. She told me that we will wait until my blood sugar were become low. So I told her, 
while waiting for my blood sugar to lower, please send me back to Gimaras. So I went back here in Gimaras. And when I was here in Gimaras, my husband and I went to his cousin, who is also a doctor in Iloilo City. And we asked for referral of the hospital that has the equipment that can um, test the functionality of my kidneys, to test the functions, the percentage of the functions of my both kidneys, and a referral to a physician who can handle my health problem. So we have the equipment here in Iloilo City. And I was thanking God. I thank God for providing me the, the, the hospital, the place, the equipment that has, that has to, um, to test or that has to, um, uh, to check the percentage of the function of my both kidneys. And an expert, a brave, and a risk taker physician accepted me to handle my kidney problem. Because at first, I went back to my doctor who have done my um, surgery in 1995. But he told me that my case is already very risky due to um, uh, she to he told me that during the process or during the procedure, I will be having bleeding because of the adhesions made before. And um, um, I was feeling not so confident enough. So but with this uh, new doctor that, my, that the cousin of my husband has referred to us, I am confident enough that I could um, get well with my operation. So we scheduled, or he scheduled a date for my um, procedure for the surgery. Out of the four physicians, three of them told me, Mom, please tell your surgeon to just remove your left kidney because I think that the process, the operation that we will be taking is very risky. And a night before the rounds, and a night before my schedule, the, the, um, my physician have his rounds with me. So I told him what the three physicians had told me. And he, his response, give me strength. Give me um, um, eagerness or give me the strong feeling and confidence to have or to have the procedure with him because she asked, he asked me if I will remove your left kidney and whatever will happen to your right kidney, then we will have again another problem. Because of so many complications, I have high blood sugar, I have high blood pressure and some of the complications. So with that feeling I had with my physician, I have a fighting spirit to recover. So I trusted him and I recovered after a 10 long days of staying in the hospital. I was discharged from the hospital for only 10 days with my major uh, operation of uh, my left kidney. 
after that storm in my life, there was a little calmness. So calm after a storm, not calmness before a storm. Regular checkups were made. I took um, my um, maintenance medicines and my internal med physician was in charge of that. And another illness was discovered within me again. It was hypothyroidism. So again, she referred me to, an, to a total thyroidectomy in March 2020. And after that, supposedly, after a month, I will be having my radiation. But due to pandemic, we have lockdowns, we have border restrictions, and the medicines to be used for my radiation came or reached the hospital after six months. And during that time of waiting, I experienced so many feelings on my body. I have body aches. I have so much, I, I can feel so much fatigue. I cannot even comb my hair. Before I have shown that our mom Nova shown that picture that my husband, my loving husband was the one combing my hair, especially after my bath because I, can, I feel very tired just combing my hair. Even during toothbrushing, I have to rest my arms because I felt very tired just in toothbrushing. I could not go up and down the stairs. I have to hold the railing to move my body up, then again to the next, then again. I have three canes used inside the house. It is situated on the different parts of the house where they are accessible when I'm going to, whenever I would like to go in the different uh, places, different parts of the house. I have to use the canes because I cannot walk well. I have to uh, have the help of other person. We are living in a very simple way of life. My husband only has a seasonal income sourced from his farming and a small fish pond. Since that time, our three children were in school and there were, and there were times that it was very hard for us to make both ends met due to expenditures from hospital bills, from school ex expenses and other required expenses. All our savings were used up. Imagine of having a major operations every other year, how it affects us financially, but we tried to recover and moved on because as they say, tomorrow is another day. It was in February, 2021, a colleague of mine who is a friend of my upline now, Mr. Jose Cruz, introduced Porcher Placenta to me. I was then sick. I could not move freely. I was very slow. And at first, I was very hesitant to take the product even one bottle of the product due to the price. We were devastated of expenses. And this time I have this um, portier placenta 
and I was thinking, it's it's mahal. <laughs> According to Sir to Sir Jose, malahalon. So it took me some time to decide to take the the product or to take the capsules. But later on, I decided. I told myself. I can pay for this. So I took two capsules in the morning and two capsules in the evening. And I was about to finish one bottle of Portier Placenta when I have my regular checkup, monthly checkup. And I found out that my kidney, my medicine for the kidney maintenance was removed or was taken out by my physician. And the result of my laboratory for my creatinine was normal. So thank God for that. And I took additional bottles of the product until I felt the superb and miraculous effect of the product on me. I become this time, I become energetic. I can go up and down the stairs I, without holding the railing. I can do some light household chores. I do not use my canes anymore. I can walk normally and later on, I became a certified plantita as my stress reliever. Every time I meet my colleagues and other people around, so many positive remarks from them. I received so many of that positive remarks. They were telling me, I am beautiful. And I know I am because my husband told me so. And I am glowing. And most of all, I recovered from my illness, from the illnesses. I have so many illnesses. I have so many illnesses. How happy I am upon hearing these positive remarks. And I started sharing the goodness, the good effects of the product to my relatives, to my friends, and other people. In addition to that, my inspiration gathered from joining the virtual meetings. I decided to join Railway International in June 1, 2021, and became a one star in August 27, 2021 also. I hope all of us remember that, that date. I am very thankful to Sir Ramon Ondo and his wife Fides for giving me one set free of for chair placenta. And I have encouraged my husband to take also the product because I told him it is free. So guys, ladies and gentlemen in the Zoom room tonight, if God had given me all the chances of recovering from all my illnesses and strengthened me to be back on my feet again, I have a very strong feeling that he is providing me all the chances, protection and guidance to continue to pursue another career path in joining the Railway International System so that I can continue to share and to spread and to help improve other people's lives and also their health conditions.
thank you for listening to my testimony. To God be all the glory and God bless. Thank you very much and good evening once again.